our contestants will drop out of my nose and blurp into a tub of refried beans. From there, they'll stumble down a sluice of rich eggy bernet sauce. How can we afford it? It's rancid! Uh. And at the finish line, a scrumptious parfait of pudding, pickle brine, and detergent, where a writhing pile of kids will grope blindly for hot dogs! <laughs> Trusty, please. It burns! <laughs> oh, just think, Lise. That's our pickle brine burning Sideshow Mel. That Sideshow Mel thinks he's so big. Whatever happened to Sideshow Bob? Don't you remember, Dad? He framed Krusty. He tried to kill Aunt Selma. He rigged an election. And he tried to murder me. Oh, yeah. But what I'll mainly remember is the laughter. I wonder what he's doing now. Oh, Westminster Abbey. Edward the Confessor himself could not have done better. Now to set the clocks to Greenwich Mean Time. <laughs> <gasps> My dear Abbey! Yeah. I want to meet the first female stealth bomber pilot. During the Gulf War, she destroyed 70 mosques, and her name is Lisa, too. I want to see some birds get sucked into the engines. Rare ones. This year, I'm making earplugs out of biscuit, though. They're ready. At this point in time, I would like to direct your attention to the particular air vehicle next to which I am currently standing. The Harrier Jet is one of our more dollar-intensive ordnance delivery vectors. Five tires? Am I seeing things? Uh, and although it looks complicated, it is so well-designed, even a child could fly it. Can I fly it? Of course you cannot. Anybody out there feel the need for speed? Yeah! And get ready for the pride of the United States Air Force, the British-made... Carrier jump jet! Here I am! Dad, why aren't you looking? <laughs> I jerked my neck around like a goon, went to Renovation to decide what I should look at. Ooh, look, it's Maggie! <laughs> hey, Maggie? <gasps> Sideshow Bob! Hello, Springfield. Sorry to divert your attention from all the big noises and shiny things. But something's been troubling me lately. Television. Wouldn't our lives be so much richer if television were done away with? What? Surely he's not talking about VH1. Snap your hand for re-entry. Hey. Cool. I want to be around when those guns start going off. Wait, my children are in there! You must be very proud, ma'am. Our city will not negotiate with terrorists. Is there a city nearby that will? No need, sir. We'll find that head case faster than Garfield finds lasagna. Oh, I'm sorry. My, my wife thought that was gangbusters. You know what really frosts my Calvinator? That fruit cup's probably still laughing at us from his damn hidey hole. I'd rather take an order from Bill Clinton than hear that guy's snooty, high-toned voice again, sir. High-toned voice? Bart, that's it. I know where Sideshow Bob is hiding. When Bob broadcast that message, his voice was higher than normal. And what makes your voice high? Tight-binding underwear. Helium! Sideshow Bob is in a duck blimp! All Springfield trembles before the might of Sideshow Bob. Blasted helium. Shoo, 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 shoo. Ha, <laughs> ha, that's better. Well, at least I'll have my revenge. Bob, no! Don't you see? That would be taking the easy way out. I agree. Best before November 1959. Damn it, Bob. There were plenty of brand new bombs, but you had to go for that retro 50s charm. Well, if it isn't my arch nemesis, Bart Simpson, and his sister Lisa, to whom I'm fairly indifferent.